All right, welcome to Incantation. We've got another horror demo here, and I mean, this is ominous right from the get-go. So let's see what we got. Go. Aw, hello. Up oh, and asleep she goes. He or she, whatever. Well, that's nice. What a lovely way to start. Oh, why is the picture fucked? Oh. Oh, missing. I mean, it could be. Will you shut the fuck up, man? Like, I know you're concerned, which fine. But... Who is this guy? A cop or just rando? Hena, Hena. Nami the Gawa. Doesn't look like a cab. Oh, he's, he's some kind of cop. A park ranger or something? I don't know. Oh, hello! Yep, he's a cop. Hmm. 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 What? Oh, did she go missing too? Dude! Oh, 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 oh. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Jeez! Well, that's a hell of a beginning. I'm somehow not hurt. Wake up. Cop is gone, though. Up, oh, fucked up the phone. That's not great. Guys. Yep. That could have gone better. It's been six years since Mia went missing. Every time I see this photo of her sleeping peacefully, my heart yearns to hold her again. This scrawled letter may contain a clue about Mia's whereabouts. It reads, There's a child living nearby, Shuanko Lane, who also happens to be missing part of her ear. Oh, I didn't even notice. According to the locals, she was brought here several years ago. When she arrived, her skin was covered in ulcers, and she almost died. Perhaps that's the child you're looking for? Oh, she is missing part of her ear. I didn't even take notice. Oh, okay. A missing person case report has, that has yellowed with age. Uh, Chen Meng Shi, nicknamed Mia, Mm-hmm. Ear deformity. Jasmine Lee reported that she took her daughter Chen Meng Shi to the hospital to treat some skin ulcers. Her daughter was never released and subsequently went missing. So this takes place in 2015, I guess? Hmm. Mia, the letter must be referring to you, right? You know mommy has never stopped looking for you, don't you? Are you okay? Do you miss me? Every day when I wake up, I think of you and worry about how you're doing. Over these last six years, I went to the police, put up missing person posters, wrote to the media, and even sought help from fortune tellers and psychics. I did everything I could, but I couldn't find anything. Everyone around me just looks at me with pity and thinks I need to let it go. But I know you're out there waiting for me. Mia, mommy will bring you back home soon. Promise me you'll stay safe, honey. It wasn't until I asked a local police officer, Officer Will, that I was able to find Sean Lane, the one mentioned in the letter. Apparently it's up in the mountains where the Chen family lives. It's a very remote location, and they're not friendly to outsiders, so most people aren't aware it even exists. Officer Will is such a nice man. 
He's been a police officer for 30 years, and he believes I'll find Mia if I just keep looking. Despite being so busy with work and taking care of his daughter, he's still willing to drive me up to the mountains to look around. Yeah, he does sound like a... Oh, like a good guy. Too bad he's probably dead. <laughs> oh, okay. Got an inventory here. The cell phone that once captured count... Fuck! Come on, man, I was reading that. Wake up! Need time, ma? All right, fine. Let's go. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Let me see that again. Oh, damage one turn on. Those memories may now be lost forever. I mean, not if the card is intact. It's gonna suck and it's gonna be expensive, but you can get a new phone. Oh, what the hell? Chudigong statue. Usually, statues of the local land god are placed in nearby temples for people to worship and pray for safety. This statue, however, has been abandoned by the roadside. Who would throw away a religious statue like that? Yeah, that's probably not a good sign. <laughs> well, guess all I can do is walk ahead. What's that say? Private property, do not enter. Well, something tells me I don't have a lot of options. Little, little shrine here. Would this be where the land god would be standing? How did it get all the way over there then? Okay, rock slide, that's not great. Boy, you don't have a lot of cardio, do you, lady? I can't find Officer Will. The car is completely destroyed. I tried to call for help, but my phone's broken too. I have no idea where I am, and the only road I can see is a hiking trail nearby. Did Officer Will go up the mountain for help? I can't just wait around. That's not gonna do anything. Should I follow the trail up the mountain to find him? I mean, what else are you gonna do? Sit there and twiddle your thumbs? Oh! Hey, asshole! Get back here! Come back! I know I stopped to look at what I thought was a frog, but come back! Don't love that. Oh. Whoa! Call that a close wildlife encounter. Hello? Hmm. Oh! Jesus. Can I go check out that statue up there? Nope. Hmm. Interesting. Oh hey, we got a little shed. Anything in here? Oh! Um... These are some pretty ominous offerings. Also, those are rotten. But someone has been here recently. Clearly. Okay. You're not Will. Hey, oh, hello. What was that gesture? Hey, she seems friendly enough. Which means she's probably some kind of demon. <laughs> Oh, 
啊，我两边没走啊。哦，诶、欸，阿姨，你是这边的人吗？你家多半西人啊，拢唔敢没走。不过，我囝甲我讲哦，叫我上好是两两花走。Well, I mean, he wouldn't be wrong about that. 他甲我照顾嘛，较方便。啊，你若是要找人哦，你都继续行啊。Are you? Because I was told people around here are not very friendly. You seem to be friendly enough, though. 往那边对吗？啊，对对对对对，啊，你弟弟家都会看到啊啦。好，谢谢阿姨。Yes, thank you so much for your help. I can't say yeah. Is that is that a real gesture? Like, I forgot to take a closer look at where exactly this game takes place. I don't think I've ever seen that gesture before. Might be a local religious thing. Either way, she seemed friendly and nice, but uh, in these kinds of games, I really don't trust anything. So, oh, there's another shed there. Oh, well, this isn't very helpful. I still kind of want to check this out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's not the same one, is it? Because I don't like the idea that it turned around. <laughs> I don't think it is. Oop! Sorry. Didn't mean to kick the tree. Oh, we got a fence. So there must be a house somewhere nearby. Up、oh, there's somebody. Get back here. I am immediately into this. This is super intriguing already. All right. That another. Yep. I mean, god damn it. Okay. Do I? Okay. So how do I get in? I'm gonna have to. Oh, here we go. Sorry, but uh, up I go. Someone's gonna be super pissed when I get here. What is this? I thought maybe it was. What is this? It's almost shaped like a tie, but that's not what it is. Weird. Bunch of abandoned doors. What the fuck is this place? Oh, okay, that looks like a house, or an approximation of a house. Oh, is it inside? Come on, come on, come on. This really just looks like random crap stacked on top of each other to. Make something that vaguely resembles a house. All right. Well, I guess I'm going in. 抱歉，有人在吗 ？Ah, so far in the country, nobody locks their doors. That's a good sign. Up.、Oh. Yep, that's great. Love this. 请问有人在吗 ？Yep, yep. <laughs> this bodes well for everybody. Oh. Nope. I need a key to open this door. Oh well, they got power here at least. On the table is a birth certificate issued by an obstetrics and gynecology clinic with a strange note attached. Name of child: Gao Mingyang. Gender: male. Uh, ba 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 ba. Date of birth: twenty fourteen. Place of birth: Hmm. Wait, what? What's this about a a park restroom?
That is fucking weird. Alright. 2015. Is this a calendar? Hmm. Nothing else going on over here, it looks like. February. Huh. I am deeply invested in this already. This is cool. Okay, can we open this? Nope. Oh! Well, there's a car out there, so... What do we have up here? Sure doesn't look like it. Can't open that. Oh. Some kind of toy. This door opens. Oh, a crib. What the hell happened here? Are those... Are those teeth? Uh, well. Pinned to the wall is a crayon drawing of people holding hands and smiling in a garden. So like mom, dad, kid, grandpa. Hmm. A letter from a father written to his son who lives down the mountain. The letter was finished and ready to be sealed, but was never sent. Dear AJ, I'm sorry, but I'm too busy to make it to your birthday. I know you must be very disappointed. Trust me, I would come if I were able to. Didn't you say you wanted a robot toy? How about after I get off work, we'll go buy your present. Then go to the amusement park and eat your favorite fried chicken. Love, Dad. Well, sounds like someone is doing their best, but... Not not crazy about the bed full of teeth. That's, <laughs> that's pretty ominous. I think those are teeth anyway. What is all this? Sir? Don't interrupt the man praying. That tends to be a bad idea. What's with the hand tattoos? What? You okay, buddy? Why are all the statues faced away? Oh, they're faced against the symbol. Sir? Nope. Rotten apples placed on altar. They must have been here for a long time. During worship, people often offer, a offer apples to pray for peace. But the gods would certainly not be pleased with spoiled fruit. AJ, take mom and leave now. I've locked the door and the key is hidden in the trophy. Father, forgive me. AJ, you must never open the door. Ever. Ew. <laughs> key is hidden in the trophy? What trophy? Where's there a trophy? Hmm. Hey, birds. What's this about a trophy? There's no trophy anywhere. What are you talking about? Alright, I'll leave you to whatever psychotic breakdown you're having. And I'll... <laughs> I don't remember seeing a trophy anywhere. Am I crazy? Well, back downstairs I go. Trophy, trophy, trophy. Where is there a trophy? I'm assuming it's referring to the door back here that I couldn't open before. This one. But I need to find the trophy. 
trophy. Trophy. Where is this trophy? Oh! Right there. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that TV screen to suddenly show something weird. Alright. Let's -a go! Oh, gross. Is, is that AJ or is... Oh, he's painted all over. Sir? There's a thing there. Oh, he's praying too. He's covered in bruises. Oh. Oh, he's... What's happening? Don't touch him. Stop touching everybody. Jesus. Oh, boy. Let go of me, you old fuck. There we go. Yep. Wow, okay. That didn't accomplish a lot. I need to get the hell out. Oh, boy. Okay, bye. Jeez. You show some concern for an old man. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Okay, cool. Sutra, Dahe Buddha Mother. Praise the Buddha Mother, she who blesses all sentient beings. She bestows love and compassion upon the faithful while smiting those who transgress her with just retribution. I devote my whole being to you and you alone with offerings of blue silk, caterpillars, and my body. Only the Blessed Buddha Mother has the power to free me from all suffering. Huh? Well, wait. Yeah, no crap! What you want? Do you want them to be doing this out on the front lawn, <laughs> the front yard? That's that's not gonna do anything good. Oh, save points. How nice. Verily, I beseech thee, Dai Buddha Mother, before whom none may stand without acknowledgement, and whose divine grace is boundless and ever present, extending protection unto all humankind. Behold, thy servant Chen Shi Rong, on this chosen day, presents. Unto thee a sacred offering of gold and silk, and with the heart of repentance and purification, I earnestly confess my transgressions. I entreat thee to shield our kindred, dispel our karmic burdens, and bestow upon us peace and blessings. Grant thy mercy to forgive us for our sins, and remove unseen afflictions from our midst. What did I write when I went to the temple before? My beloved daughter's whereabouts are unknown. Your faithful believer humbly asks for mercy and compassion to find her daughter soon. For Mia, I'm willing to do anything. I haven't taken her to an amusement park yet. I haven't even taken her to eat fried chicken. When Mia needed me the most, I was nowhere to be found. She was kidnapped! What the fuck? Okay, so she actually like writes down her thoughts on things she finds. So I gotta be, uh, I gotta be on the lookout for that. This is excellent so far. I'm really into this. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no, it's an ice cream factory. What do you think? Not opening that garage just yet. I want to explore. If at all possible. Oh! Did not love that. Oh, cool. 
Yeah, I've woken up with a nosebleed once. Surprise myself! What the fuck? What the hell just happened? What? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's fun. Look, I just want to make sure I explore as much as possible before I start opening doors and pressing buttons, alright? This over here seems to open the garage, but there was another button over here, so let's try that. Oh, turns on the power. There we go. I would not be opposed to stealing this car. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no. Don't fucking... Shit. Right, I think for now we just run. Get the hell out of the house, man. Did I get caught? Well, that's a good goddamn question, isn't it? Yes! Oh, God! <laughs> All right. That lady said there were people ahead who could help, so when I saw a house, I went inside to ask for assistance. But the people in the house were so strange. The man on the second floor looked at me as if he had seen a ghost, and the old man resting on the first floor attacked me. If I hadn't pulled down the metal shutter, I don't want to think of what might have happened. I called out to Officer Will several times, but it's like he can't hear me or something. I have to follow him. You're no crap, but again, I want to look around for important things. Just... In case there's stuff I should be finding. There's the garage. Okay, no, there's not. Let's follow Officer Will. God damn, this is really good! <laughs> I'm so into it! Hello, ma'am. Are we sure she's not some kind of ghost? I... I... Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 not at all. Also, do you know anything about the psycho house behind me? delusional or senile or something? Oh, don't leave her here! There's a house full of psychos literally right over there! What the fuck? Oh, she looked very sad. I... am so confused. <laughs> I mean, in the best possible way, because I'm curious as hell as to where all of this is going, but man. So far, this most of all reminds me of Hollow Cocoon, which, by the way, also a brilliant game. Go check that out. Yeah, no crap. Maybe that's where the statue we ran over would have belonged. I don't know. It seems like this place was, like, almost kind of usurped by a new entity than what they normally worship. This, uh, this Buddha mother thing doesn't exactly seem like the most benign of gods. Oh! Something got weird. 
一滴的给我看。Where is she? I hear her. There she is again. 阿姨，你不是在等你儿子吗？怎么会过来？ Oh my God, shit is looping. Yeah,、uh, she's some kind of oh. We got ghosts. Oh no. Yep, she's definitely some kind of ghost. Oh, oh, oh this sucks. Uh oh. Doshiri. Oh jeez! <laughs> I love her reactions to everything. <laughs> They're very real. <laughs> like everything that happens, she's just like, "God, what the fuck!" Ah, <laughs>、oh, this is a great character. I love her. Oh no! Are we still looping? Yep. <laughs> Where'd my flashlight go? Oh well. Just keep it moving. Oh. A clay figurine wrapped in strips of exquisitely crafted cloth. It was likely intended to be placed on an altar for worship, but it's unclear why it was discarded here. Oh well, okay. I guess that explains this little temple over here. Pop this fucker in. There you go, buddy. Up.、Oh. oh, flashlight works again. Okay, you ungrateful little shit. I'll move on. Please stop looping now. Oh no, ma'am! Yikes! It's a shame. She seemed nice, except for that part where she got all demonic and attacked me. Hmm. Oh, motherfucker! No! Why am I back here? Wait, is this a different house? I think it's a different house, actually. What the? Okay, I guess we're going in. Will? No. Is that Will? God damn. In some incredibly annoying location, no doubt. Oh, really, a mannequin? We're doing this? Look, everything about this is awesome so far. Don't do the mannequin shit. I know that's like an asset everybody loves, but jeez. Oh, speaking of mannequins, this one is different. Haven't seen what the hell? I guess more like a stone statue. Okay, I take it back. This is slightly more creative use of the mannequins. What's this? Surrounded by mannequins, the homeowner is making a strange gesture with his hands, grinning from ear to ear. I don't know about a strange gesture. He's just kind of waving. In the photo, the man is smiling happily with the mannequins. Is he the owner of the house? I saw those mannequins inside, but I haven't seen him. Where did he go? And what are all those weird scratches on the wall? Good 
question. A dirty business card for an Opgen clinic that reads neonatal obstetrics and gynecology. Okay, I probably said that horribly wrong, but... The belt raises perfect children. <laughs> oh god! In this book discussing corporal punishment, the introduction states, Although physical punishment leads to injury and creates fear in a child, it is the best way to swiftly correct behavior. It acts quickly, functions as a deterrent, establishes clear behavioral norms, makes the child immediately aware of their mistake, and corrects it. Corporal punishment is also effective as a warning against future behavior. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh no! Ah, oh, that's terrible. Okay. Oh. There doesn't seem to be anything else in here, so moving on. Oh. I hear a phone. Where is it? No. Living room then? Where is it? Oh. It stopped. Did I miss it? Oh, there it is. Hmm. All right. I mean, I see no reason I couldn't remove this metal bar. Oh, what's this? A feather duster? Many of the feathers have fallen out of this plume duster, signifying that it's been put to good use. The handle is also cracked, suggesting that the duster has been used for things other than cleaning. Gross. That was locked. Can't open that. Oh, we got a safe. Hmm. Interesting. Well, better go upstairs. Five. Oh. Seven something seven four one five? I mean we'll figure it out, I guess. Seems like a decent little office. This is a long demo. Lots of content here. Wow, weird drawing, but that's what the old lady was doing. So okay, so it's it's unique to this place. I thought it was weird. Hmm. Okay. Anything else to be seen here? No. Oh, it's another mannequin. Okay. I like that a lot of stuff you find aren't so much items as they are just explanations of things you're seeing. You know, like, not everything needs to be a story item or a key. A lot of it is just, like, context. How do I get past this? I guess I can't right now. Oh, fuck, were you there? No, you moved! You bitch! A prayer written by the homeowner for the blessings of his family. I brought my family here. They too are your children. I humbly ask you to bestow blessings upon us, Buddha Mother. Okay, so something is up with this Buddha Mother thing. I think... Apparently you need to bring your family here. Nah, I'm just... I'm theorizing too much too quickly. I really have nothing to base anything on. Mannequin limb. The severed mannequin limb has been discarded in a corner of the balcony. It's been twisted into an unnatural position. As if somebody ripped it off the body. Well, they probably did. Ah, I can crawl through this window. Okay. I do not like you. At all. <laughs> Inside the radio is a cassette tape labeled with a Buddhist incantation. It seems to be where the chanting is coming from. Here 
Isn't that a good question? Uh, page from a diary. The note contains unsettling words with the number 73 written at the bottom. Its purpose is unclear. Yeah, so 7315, I'm guessing. How dare they disrespect the Buddha mother? Why, 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 why? Die, 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 die. Fun. The writing on the note is absolutely terrifying. It seems the people here believe in some sort of cult or strange religion. There are talisman, relics, and altars everywhere. This Buddha mother, is she a Buddhist deity? I've never heard of her before. The number 73 is written at the bottom of this note, but I have no idea what it means. Well, we gotta move on. Ah, oh, man. I can't believe this is just a demo. I feel like I'm playing a full game. The homeowner locked the door, presumably to protect the family from outside threats, but strangely there is no one inside the house. The diary is torn in half and the other half is missing. Those bastards don't know how to respect the Buddha mother. Now they've angered her and took what- and look what happened! I've locked the door. If y'all don't want to end up like them, stay inside and do what you're told. Do you hear me? I'm asking if you hear me. Okay. What is this? Oh, we have to recreate the symbol that I've seen everywhere, I think. Ah, shit. Uh, I think it's like that. I didn't open it, though. Oh, it probably has to be turned around. Yeah, I think that's it. No, no, I'm missing something. That looks right. And then... Wait. Like that? There we go. Numerical button. It's a button inside this weird rotating disc contraption. Wonder where it came from. I mean, we know what it's for. It's for upstairs. Oh! We're back in here. Oh, why do I get a feeling you're gonna attack me the second I do anything here? Kid fell over and doesn't have a head anymore, so that's fun. Nothing else is the Surprisingly modern TV. Hmm. Oof. Didn't love that. Alright, well. Pop it in. 73115. Oh, yeah, she got a lot closer. Homeowner's key. Given that this key was found in the safe, it probably opens one of the doors to outside. Yeah, probably. Seems like a pretty solid bet. Just gotta find the door in question. Uh oh. <laughs> this fucker again. Slam the door in his face, man! What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, kick him! Fuck you, old man! Um. Oh! Hello! I'm starting to hate this place. <laughs> Fucking god damn it. 
A lot of mannequin parts. From the book's introduction, this seems to be a horror novel. The story is about a shut-in named Ding Hao, who buys a life-size doll named Little Shi online, in the hopes of having her as a companion. As time passes, Little Shi appears to be gaining self-awareness, and Ding Hao begins to have feelings for her that he cannot ignore. Uh, of course you all turned around. Um, right, so that seems to be what's going on in this house in general. Just some guy rapidly... What? Oh, those are gloves. Ew! Hmm. Yep, definitely nothing scary is going to happen down here. Can you now? Ew. Buddy, don't. Yep. Oh, is this where I used the key I found? God damn it, I wanted to explore a little more. Shit. No, no, let me look around in here for- No! 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 <laughs> well, maybe it's a good idea after all. Good lord, my guy! Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! I'm seeing an awful lot of people bashing their heads on things lately. Alright, can I open the door and go back now? <laughs> I feel like I missed something important in there, but oh well. Just moving on. Let's just get the fuck out. Oh, I love that I can hear birds singing, like... <laughs> It's just like, ah, see? Everything is over. You can go home now. <laughs> Where is that voice coming from? And I'll wait before I turn off the lights then. I just want to look around a bit. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Bye. Turn off the light before opening the door or else the power will go out. I'm assuming that he'll get pretty upset if I do that. Another power switch? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck off. Really? We're doing weeping angel shit? Come on. Yep. Will I die if I touch this? No. But I will if I turn my back to it, apparently. Oh! Can you not barf on me, buddy? Death. <laughs> Alright. Easy now. Uh -uh. Got it. That's the third one. Then we can get to the door. Alright. What the hell? I activated... What? Oh, he's going around turning them off! Oh, fuck that guy! Well, turning them back on, I guess. Oh, that sucks, so I have to be fast. Man, fuck him. 
Oh, I hate this. All right, this time. And fuck that guy. All right, let's get out. So is there gonna be like a million mannequins behind me now? Nope, okay, oh, someone's moving over there. That part sucked. There's been way too much weeping age. Oh, hello. Ow, fuck! Is that my daughter by any chance? Nah, she looks like a little, she looks a little older than she would be. The daughter I'm looking for would be like seven now. Oh shit. Was he working with them the whole time? Oh no. Oh, Will, you seem so nice. But maybe that was his daughter we just saw. Incantation. The devil ends here. Thanks for playing. That was fucking brilliant. Aside from the weeping angel thing here at the end, which was super annoying. And honestly, mannequins in general, which I'm just tired of those personally. This was fantastic. I, I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on this, because this ruled. So, uh... Consider that wish list Like, immediately. Yeah. Boom, baby. <laughs> what a game. I absolutely love that. Well... Thank you so much for watching, and see you in another one. Bye-bye.